Welcome, welcome on this glorious day to the West Highlands of Scotland. More specifically, the path up towards the north face of Ben Nevis. I'm here with my brother Martin today. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> and we've parked the car down at the North Face car park. And the plan today is to do Carmor Diag, go across the Arete, and then up onto Ben Nevis. So Martin and I last came to Scotland, how long ago? About 13 years, 12 years, something like that. And that was our last big adventure. We did Ben Nevis and we thought this time we'll do it a different way. Do you know what? The weather today is looking really good. So let's make the most of it. We're out to the top of the forest now and we can clearly see today's route. It is, it's looking good, it's looking very good indeed. Um, I'll try not to use too many superlatives again today, but it's looking glorious, it really is. Um, not too much snow, so yeah, I'm happy with that. It is now the 11th of May, 2021 and yeah, COVID restrictions have been lifted to the point where my brother and I have come away, stayed down at Glen Nevis campsite. And so good to be back here again. I think it's been about two or three years since I last came. We're well and truly into the climb now. The path, as I'm sure regulars or people that have done this route before will know, is really tricky to follow at times. Um, word of warning, you definitely wouldn't be able to follow this route uh, without map or compass and the ability to use it or a GPS. But we're gaining elevation now. Enjoying it, Mark? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's quite hard to follow the path at times, but now we're out of the boggier stuff. Um, about three or four paths have just joined, so it's getting more like defined now, which is good. But the north face of Ben Nevis is looking absolutely amazing. And that arete, I can see people just like ants walking along the top. But yeah, what a day to be out. We've definitely picked the best day, Mark. Oh yeah. Lot Linny looking stunning down there. Around the corner of the Great Glen up to Inverness. So good, so so good. The path now zigzags a little bit, but it doesn't mess about. It's just going straight up to the top of uh, Carmor Diag. Please forgive any pronunciations, as always in my videos, but specifically today. How's it going, Mike? You good? Oh, <laughs> so we've reached the first summit on the way to Carmel Diag. I'll stick uh, some info on screen now with the naming. I'm sure it's Carmel Diag Big or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's looking good. There's a nice clear route now up onto Carmel Diag, the first Monroe of the trip. Um, and a more in the background there. Speechless, I'm absolutely speechless. Thank you. 
here we are at the top of Carmor Diag, 1,220 meters, Munro number one. Look at that. That's looking good. It's going really well so far. What time would you say it is now, Mark, do you reckon? Yeah, about half past three, something like that. We set off at half past 11. Three o'clock. Uh, three o'clock. So we're giving ourselves about nine hours to do it, but we've still got plenty of time. It's a nice drop down onto the Arete now and then up onto Ben Nevers. It's gonna be a good one. where it gets gnarly so there'll be no talking and walking at the same time. Updates from a stationary position only. I think we're taking about a thousand photos already. <laughs> Everywhere you look it's just amazing. Scotland you're showing off today. Some really sharp bits back there just picking our way across the like top of it or scooting around the side <sighs> martin's absolutely fearless but he always has been since we were kids i knew he'd do it no problems asked no problems at all no questions asked but no problems <laughs> it's looking nice down there now you can't quite see Steel Falls, but we were down there yesterday. Martin got the drone out and got some amazing photos. We went across the wire bridge. It's customary. We're almost at the base of the Arete now. And we're gonna begin the climb up onto Ben Nevis. It's looking good. There's a nice big like cornice. Um, hanging onto the side of the mountain there, but it looks like it's melted to the degree that we can get onto the rock at the opposite side of it, which is good. I'm absolutely speechless again. Look at that. You can see down to the hut there. I've always wanted to do this, always. But I knew that if anyone was gonna do it, Oh, dangerous Martin. <laughs> fearless, absolutely fearless. I don't think I uploaded the video from when we did the uh, Ben Nevis climb last time, but that was a great experience. Fearless. Time for the climb up onto the bed. A long drag. It's about um, 250, 300 meters up. But we're in no rush. Take our time. What a day. What a day. One small bit across the snow now, and then we're at the top. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, we are now at the top. Whew. That last section there, we just zigzagged our way up and stuck to the rocks. Um, there's a lot of um, bare snow, fresh snow in places as well and we just made sure that we stuck to the rocky bit but yeah there was a lot of uh, traffic on there today so that was quite reassuring but we are here 
at the top of the Great British Isles. It used to be 1344 meters, um, but I believe it was measured over the last measured a few years ago, and it's now 1,345 metres. So it's now a metre taller, <laughs> in theory, <laughs> since I was last here. What a day, and we're getting good views as well. Tradition. Not the tidiest place on earth, but the, the summit shelter is a welcome relief on uh, really bad days. We had one a, <laughs> one particular day like that in January. I'll flash some photos and uh, footage on screen now, but yeah, well, it was a welcome um, hideaway from a nice whiteout. As we're in Scotland, I thought I'd have a celebratory drink. <laughs> Not whiskey, I am blue. Such a perfect day. It's quite cold up here, but we'll be fine again once we're moving. Couldn't have asked for a better day, really, at this time of year. Nice bit of cloud, and uh, the cloud are well above the summit, which is good. So we've been here about 20 minutes, something like that. Had a quick snack. Um, it's time to move on. I want to bust out some more superlatives, but I'm not going to. I know it can be a quite a rare thing to get um, a summit like this to yourself and also in decent conditions. So yeah, there's no one here at all. It's about, I can't remember now, about half past five, something like that. Um, the majority of people will be on their way down now. Um, if you don't know, you can start this one from Glen Nevis. And we spoke to some people when we first arrived. They say it took them about five hours. I can't remember exactly how many hours it's taken me in the past, but yeah, that's the much easier route. But if you do come up here, I would stay away from the edge. Some huge cornices there. And it's a long way down. Loch Linny is looking stunning down there, shimmering in the sunlight. Certainly a lot quicker on the way down. Wow. Go for it, Mark. Last time we came down, he uh, chose an even quicker route. I'm Johnny Knoxville, welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Martin, ever the show off. <laughs> it's like... Someone slid on the backside there, haven't they? Go on, Mark. <laughs> Still going.
Glen Nevis campsite down there. Where is it? That's our base. You can just make out the shower block, Martin, and your huge tent. Okay. I think this is going to be a land speed record, this one. Is it? Oh. Feel this. <laughs> Whoa, some deep bits here. Just can't stop getting shots of this place. It's amazing. Rocks. So once again, got the best one. My way across to that. <laughs> what a rush! <laughs> Time to jump off and rejoin the path now, I think. The river is running well and truly underneath the snow slide. The uh, zigzag path seems a little bit sedate now in comparison. <laughs> it's nice and gentle. We're on the final switchback and then we're gonna be heading off past the uh, the Lachlan and down towards the North Face car park. I've said it already, but Glen Nevis is looking amazing down there. Time to replenish the water supply. Fast moving over rocks, straight off the snow melt. the Glen Nevis path and this is the North Face path. Yeah. We're now on one of those off-piste paths. Almost at the river now and we'll find a crossing point to the path on the opposite side. Truly was an off-piste adventure. Here we are. That looks like as good a spot as any. The shoes are drenched anyway, so we may as well. And it'll clean the bottom of the trousers. Woo! Fresh. Now that is looking good. And we're back on a path, an official path. Oh, almost okay. Well, we've officially christened the new style. We saw them building it earlier on. Excellent work. We're heading down the forest to the car park now and it's a stunning evening, it really is.
and we are back back at the North Face car park and my watch has just clicked over 17 kilometers what I'll do is as always I'll put some information on screen about elevation gains and things like that I will put a link to the route in there as well the route that I used was one from Walk Highlands so there'll be a link in there to that website you can head across check out the pictures that are shared on there as well it's a fantastic resource for walking in the Highlands it's been a really great day Martin's just wandering around the car park just to get to I think 11 miles bang on on his watch <laughs> but yeah what a day what a day I've been wanting to do that route for such a long time there is quite a bit of off-piste as well especially on the first bit when you come out of the forest as you're heading up Carmore Diag and then that bit from the lock um, at the bottom of Nevis yeah that bit's there probably about 3k something like that is just off-piste but it's all enjoyable and I don't mind a river crossing. The innovates are now dry. Okay, I'll start waffling on and we're gonna go back to Fort William, get some alcohol, possibly, <laughs> and have a nice relaxing evening. Do you enjoy it, Mark? Yeah. You yeah. still going? No point not one. No point not one to go. Okay, right, we're nearly finished. As always, thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye for now. Morning, it's the 21st of April 2008, it's around about half past ten, and we're just about to go up Ben Nevis again for a laugh, why not? As you see we've got Ben Nevis down there, can't quite see Fort William yet, we will do when we get further up, but there's the lock, we just passed the um, halfway stage so we're flying ahead of what we thought we were going to, three quarters of the way up Ben Nevis, we're just pushing over the final a little bit of a scent. Welcome once again to the um, storm shelter on Ben Nevis. For a while, it got that blistered. We could see Steve, but they're only 20, 15 feet down. We couldn't even see them. Really. We'll put this video on YouTube, and for the people on there, we have a GPS and map and compass, so we would never in any danger. Yeah, so no dissing us on comments.